Hello and welcome back to Bug Round. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So as you would have seen in my pickups video, both me and Kelly received this box to share. This big old box. And if you haven't seen the pickups video, this is from the lovely couple at MP Exotics. A link to their YouTube channel will be in my description below. Please check them out, show them some love. So I know there's a couple of bits that's for me and a couple of bits that's for Kelly in here, but everything else is a complete and utter mystery. And we kind of just have to decide amongst ourselves um, who keeps what. So we're gonna crack this open straight up now. I'm so oh, excited. There's, there's a lot of things oh in here. God, there's loads. So, shall we just uh, pop hands in? Do we not look in? Are we just taking? Just take, yeah, go on then. I know what's, well, I'll take this off top first because I've already seen this. So, we've got some Madagascan hissing roaches. So this has got two males in this one. So they did say they were gonna send us some roaches each. So we knew about those. So you go. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, okay, I can't. I'm excited. Oh. You have to look a little bit. I'm going to go for the little pot first. The little swing pot. Yeah, what have we got here? What have we got? Uh, an A Simani, one centimetre. Oh, excellent. I actually have um, a little one, so I'm not too fussed either way. But do you want one? Yeah. You want to keep that one? Go for it then. If you have one. one, then yeah. Yeah. In fact, I've got more roaches here. Let me just take the shall I just take this out first? So there's the two adult females Ooh. in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, can I pick separately? Because I knew what they were. Yeah. I knew there was a tub underneath them that looked different. Oh, I've got my hand stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is it? So we've got the sea lividum, cobalt blue. Oh my goodness and me. It's a pretty size. Wow. Oh no, I don't want to lift that flop up yet. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I do. I do want to do that. Oh, that's really good. That is awesome. Thanks, guys. This one gave me so much trouble. Be warned. <laughs> it's the size of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I can see why. I can totally imagine. Right, you go for it. I want to pick this one. I'm not going to knock anything over if I do that, am I? Oh, is this uh, your one? Oh, uh, yes. So, yeah, these are the stick insects that they gave uh, to me. They told me that I'd be getting these. Um, I cannot remember exactly the scientific name off the top of my head. It's one of the Vietnamese species. Um, but, yeah. I thought, no point going to waste, they're overstocked. I'll certainly take them off his hand so I can do you a full um, feature video of these and show you their growth development. Is it me? Yeah. This looks like an interesting pot. So. Oh, it's a Ooh. king baboon. I've got a king baboon in here. I'm not sure of the size of it. I'm going to guess it's. There? Oh yeah? Oh, it's cute. Oh my gosh, it's lush. I'll put that one in that pile, shall I? Yeah. Your turn. Right. right, hang on, let me just take some of this out. I think this is all just stuff in here. Yep, that's sweet. So if I turn this box around... Still a few more things to go in here. They've given us a lot here for free, so a really big thank you. This one. Oh, it's an Amenia. Oh, nice. We both like these. We both have oh, an Amenia, really but we both like them. And I'm sure either of us would be happy to take on another sling. Definitely. Oh, I love mine. That's lovely. Can you see it? No. Over it's under there. probably just hidden away. Yeah. We do like them. Yeah, we do. It me, is it? Yeah. I want this one because it looks interesting. Oh, the Scorpio Maurus is it? I've never been able to pronounce the pronunciation. Yep, yeah, so we got ourselves a little scorpion. 
I know you guys will be able to see, but I'm having a nosy at the minute. I want to see. Oh, oh nice. Nice size. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Very cool, very cool. Sorry, dude, I'm taking you away from your hide. That's lovely, that. We've got some real whopping things in this <laughs> Yeah, spot. this is awesome so far. Put I'm them. rubbish at putting lids on things. So, there we go. You always leave that, like, a little bit of a lid right. hanging on. There's at least two there and two there, and I think that's our lot then. And then go with this front. <gasps> oh, oh, a hatty hatty. Oh, yeah. So, got ourselves another... Um, Skitsy tarantula. It's actually had a molt in here. Now these do hide a lot. I'm hoping I'll manage to get this on the screen for you because if I have, it's probably going to be the last time you see it for a long time. They uh, stay hidden a lot. Absolutely stunning as adults. Did you see those adults at the show? I didn't see. No. They're lovely. I'll show you. I'll show you some. Do you know what they look like as adults? No. I'll show you some pictures later. They're lovely. Well, they're not lovely. They're mean, but <laughs> yeah. well, they they skittish and hide a lot. More than me, but lovely. It's my turn now. I think I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where the leg missing? Oh, he's a good one. Oh, it probably was in that mold. Where are the back legs there? See? Three there. Oh, yeah. Four there. Okay. Is it me? Yeah. I think this might be more roaches in here. Baby roaches, yep. So we've got a, a little selection of the baby of the giant hisses that we've got. So that's sweet. Right, there's two more in there. One each. You want the top one or the bottom one? Top one! I haven't read it. Oh, oh my god, there's loads. Oh my goodness me. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're full of cars. A lot, of, a lot of babies, good yeah. luck, he's right on the box. There so is loads of them. We've now got a army of <laughs> a Funica snails. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is, isn't it? It'd be lovely when they all grow up. Maybe we can get a sort of display tank for them. <gasps> yeah. It'd be really nice. Oh my god, look how little they are. so sweet, look. <laughs> oh, I'm in love with them. Well, these are something that we knew was coming in the box too for us to share between us. So we knew about the we knew about stick insects, we knew about the snails, and we knew about the cockroaches. So there's one more thing in here. Um, oh, ah, oh, it's a tripepi. Oh. So I had just actually given away my male tripepi to Mark. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it's a sub-adult male. And he's going to keep that one till it matures and then try and breed it on. That's Mark from Mark's Tarantulas. Because you were sad about giving him away. I was, yeah, well, yeah. I, was, I mean, I know he's gone to a good person, but I had him for quite a while. And when he's when I found out him to be male, I was quite disappointed. So, yeah. Right. Excellent. I think what I'll do, I'm going to cut the camera now while we make some decisions. And I'll let you know what we've decided. Is that everything? In just a moment, that's everything. I think. Yeah, all done. Awesome, we'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so we've had a little discussion and this is how it's gonna go. So, <laughs> after the note that they put on for, for the sea lividum, Kelly just straight away told me this one was mine. <laughs> so, cheers guys, but it's, it's actually lovely. And I think it's awesome. So I was happy to snatch that up anyway. It looks so nice, but if it's going to be that much of a pain in the butt, you, you can deal with it, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, I've gone for the Hattie Hattie as well, because I know it's one that you don't see often as it grows. They stay hidden an awful lot. Um, and Kelly does like things that are on show more. And I mean, even the, the Cobalt Blues stay in burrows for long periods of time. Um, and then... I've gone also for the King Baboon because I had a P. Muticus in my first ever mystery box um, as a one centimetre that did die. So everything I had in that mystery box is either still alive today or has been replaced over time as I've learned as a keeper. And the only one that never got replaced was the P. Muticus. So 
to have a King Baboon back in the collection is a little bit sentimental and again it's hidden quite a lot so I'm happy to have that one. Which left Kelly with the Scorpion, yeah. the other Piamenia and she's going to try out having a Tripeppy. So I mean I've successfully raised mine from similar size so I can help you if you need anything but they're pretty bog standard to yeah, be fair. pretty large isn't it? Yeah, I like you already. So, one last massive, massive thanks to MP Exotics. Please, as I said before, at least go and click on the channel, check it out. If it's not for you, that's fine. If it is for you, hit that subscribe. But just show them some love because this, for free, is absolutely amazing. This is so, yeah. Thanks guys, you've put proper smiles on our faces this evening. We've been having a right giggle off the camera about all this stuff. It is really, really kind of you. So, yeah. Thank you very much. It's such a nice, kind of thing to do. Like, we didn't expect all no, of this. No, we didn't think it was going to be really anything said, like this. Oh, we'll give you a couple of snails and whatnot. And we thought, yeah, okay, why not? And then to get all this, wow. Yeah. It's lovely, it's, isn't it? Yeah. And we actually met these guys the night before as well. And they're, they're so much both fun. lovely, both real, real lovely people. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to cut the video now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back on the channel weekly for multiple videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say it again, then. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>